Thank you, Hobscope, for generously sponsoring a portion of this video. Welcome into the studio. Now, are you one of us? You know, the kind that prints mods and accessories for everything? Maybe even designs a little bit too? Well, probably because my entire family has a 3D printing addiction. We are always searching for new and creative ways to use our 3D printers. Every time we walk through a store, everything we look at, we think, I can make that. Or we could probably do that better. Like anyone with a 3D printer over the years, we've 3D printed a ton of fun things, um, even practical things that have just simply made our lives better. From simple things like door stops and sorting trays to decorations for every holiday and even shelves for filament. Well, at least the brackets anyway. I've even designed and 3D printed parts for our tractors, uh, diesel motors, all sorts of things up here on the mountain. I also printed a TPU O-ring for a propane regulator that was leaking up here, which actually worked out absolutely perfect. And we'll have some content coming up for that. Spoiler, it's probably gonna be triggering for some of the more sensitive safety nerds out there, but 3D printing is growing. I'll have to toughen up. Now, if you're already 3D printing, ignore me for just the next few seconds. 3D printers are an incredibly powerful tool unlike anything else that you might have in your home or your shop or your office. The ability for you to create detailed and complex things from a wide range of rugged plastics within minutes to hours is a reality now. It doesn't matter what you choose to print, whether it's tools or jigs or toys, decorations, practical things, prototypes, repairs, all of it's awesome. And it can be done right where you are sitting right now. And it's actually relatively inexpensive now. Designing really isn't a requirement at all. There are literally millions of models available for free that you can go and download and begin printing right away. But if you have ideas, designing at your home or office goes hand in hand with 3D printing. My family absolutely loves to design things. And for a lot of reasons, learning to design even simple objects is in my opinion, an extremely valuable life skill. Everyone should learn. Something breaks around the home, the business, the farm, or the ranch, being able to fix something without relying upon local stores or online deliveries is really true freedom. And designing it isn't very difficult. There are now so many amazing tools that you can get started with right now from your desktop or even your mobile device. Many are free and still very powerful. And I'll have links to some of those uh, tools in the description. A fun little example was this last Easter when our oldest son designed crackable eggs that could be filled with candy and toys while the eggs were printing and then broken open afterwards. It's not a novel idea, it's been done before, but it was a great reason to open up the design tools and learn some new techniques for him. He had a lot of fun and they turned out absolutely great. Another example was our kids have been absolutely going crazy the last few weeks with their e-scooter. This is at Hovsko Xander Max and they've been all taking turns flying around the ranch. Um, it has something like a top speed of 19 miles per hour, which is kind of nuts. Um, I mean, they're on gravel roads and mountain trails. But one of the things that they first noticed was that there was no way to carry anything when riding it. Both hands are completely occupied, one hand on the throttle, the other hand on the brakes. And they're not just using it for fun, but also for ranch work too. They use it to run out, open and close gates, um, or to go check pastures or to feed and check on horses. They even take the dog for a run with it. But the fact that you can't take anything with you or bring anything back is where the inspiration to design something came from. Now, our oldest son has been focusing a lot lately on learning more about Fusion 360. If you don't know, it's an incredibly powerful CAD application that can be used to design anything from simple toys uh, to the most complicated of objects. I mean, they use it to design jet engines, so yeah, it can do anything you want. Oh, and by the way, Fusion 360 is free for personal use. Go get it. I'll have links to these tools in the description. He wanted to learn to design openings for hardware, like nuts and bolts. Now I'm all for it. Heck, as a father and as a ranch owner, I'd love to be able to throw design tasks at him and have him come back hours later with solutions. Now, when it came to the scooter, the first thing he designed up for his younger siblings was a basket. He did some basic measurements, learned a couple of new design techniques and printed them on the Bamboo Lab P1S. Then my wife had a fantastic idea, and that was to design not just a basket, but a fun way for my daughter and my youngest son to personalize their scooter a little with some of their favorite Pokemon. Yes, I know everything is Pokemon right now. So my son sat down and he adapted his basket mount design so that it could be merged with any of the millions of models out there, allowing them to attach any existing model to the scooter. It uses the same hardware connections and a place for a strip of TPU so you can really tighten it down without cracking the 3D print. For someone new to designing, this is pretty cool. 
Super proud to see him doing this and learning along the way. Now using that mounting hardware, the first model they wanted on the scooter was a Squirtle and of course a matching basket and they absolutely love it. The next model they did was a Pikachu with a matching basket, also printed both of those on the Bamboo Lab P1S. These were printed in a mixture of Polymaker and Bamboo Lab filament, um, multicolor. They just look great and the kids love them. A lot of fun. Now I'll have links to the original models and the filaments in the description. I'd never even personally ridden an e-scooter and I really didn't even know what to expect when my wife told me it showed up for the channel. We opened it up live on our Twitch stream, which you should absolutely check out. We are live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific over on twitch.tv slash loyalmoses. We have a ton of fun. We also give away stuff every time we go live. We have amazing sponsors that let me give away unlimited amounts of stuff. Seriously, join us. We'd love to have you there. Hovsko sent this to our studio mailbox and a lot of stuff shows up there. And my original thought when I saw it was to just let the kids have it, have a little bit of fun. But my wife actually is the one that suggested that it could be a great opportunity to try and inspire the kids to design more and then ultimately share some fun things uh, that we could design for it. Now, after my live stream, I reached out to Hovsko, asked a few questions about their company and then asked if they had any diagrams that we could use to design some fun accessories from. And hopefully they'll send something over. We haven't received anything yet. But in the meantime, we've just measured and taken notes ourselves. I also asked about a few of their other products besides the scooter. They have some sick fat tire e-bikes that would actually be a little bit of a better fit for uh, us up here on the ranch. Hovsko was super cool and they were excited about our ideas for content and I'm sure they'll send over some of that gear uh, for us to enjoy and share and we'll get some fun accessories created for them too and hopefully we'll get some diagrams for that as well. Also, for a little bit more fun, we invited our community to try and design some cool accessories and upgrades for it. We'll have some content on that coming up soon. If you want to see some of it or participate, join us in our Discord. I'll have the links to our Discord on the screen and in the description. So much imagination and talent over there. Seriously, you should come join us. There were some cool new fender flares that were suggested. I guess the range is like 30 miles or so on the scooter. So a water bottle holder came up as another idea. Um, it has a headlight that I guess auto turns on when it gets dark and there's a brake light. So obviously we should work out some sweet RGB upgrades for it, right? It's got a like a big 36 volt battery or something like that. It's like 10.4 amp hours and it has like 500 watts of peak power. And that seems like a lot of power for such a small scooter. Um, now, I, they probably don't want us messing with the battery, but uh, I think we could find a safe way to get at some of those volts for some fun things. Now, originally, when I first got it, my thought was tires. I thought that would be fun to print some TPU tires. They're big, fat, 10-inch tires, but they're pretty hard to get at, and they're pretty solid. And besides, that's where all your electrical components are for the scooter and the big disc brakes. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll try like to do something like that in the future. Not quite sure. Anyway, I'd love to hear your ideas. Comment below on what you think we could design or print for it. I think we'll end up printing a bunch of these fun ideas and mod it out, show it off in another video. Let me know what you think. Just so I don't forget anything, we have Twitch. So join us over there, twitch.tv slash loyalmoses, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 5 p.m. Pacific. Join us on our Discord, loyal.ms slash Discord. Oh, and like I said earlier, I'll have a link to the models, the scooter, all of it in the description. Click over there, check it out. And before I go, let me give a huge shout out to our Patreon supporters and you YouTube members. We couldn't do this without you. Thank you. And to the rest of you, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.